Aston Villa 2, Wolverhampton Wanderers 3, the most undeserved win I've seen Wolves get in a long, long, long time, but I quite frankly couldn't care less as to whether it was deserved or not. What a win for Wolves late in the day. There were Ruben Nevers deflected free kick finding its way in. I, I honestly don't know how to feel about that because we were absolutely awful for 80 minutes and was somehow... From 2-0 down, we played terribly, managed to win the game, and well, I just have to say, I'm shocked. <laughs> I don't quite believe that we've gone there and won, because I never thought we'd win today in the first place, but especially after going 2-0 down, I thought all hope was lost, and he wouldn't bring Jimenez on. I don't know what all that was about. I assume it was just that he couldn't come on, but he did come on with seven or eight minutes left, so I thought, why leave it that late and bring him, not bring him on earlier? He should have come on at half-time. Yeah, Wolves were all right in the first half, I suppose. It was a bit of a... Topsy turvy game, and not too much goal mouth action. Adama Traore's run for well, the free kick which he won at the end, which I'll get onto in a second. But the original run in the first half where he absolutely ran through Aston Villa, left four defenders for dead, and just couldn't finish it would have been goal of the season. If that had gone in, Danny Ings should have put Villa ahead in the first half as well, but he did early in the second half. It was poor marking in the middle, and poor on the outside as well to let McGinn get the cross in, and Ings was just there in the middle, managed to head it in, and just. Really poor defending by Wolves. You have three centre-halves in the middle and not one of them can pick up a striker in Danny Ings who's not that tall at all, really. Quite poor for that goal. But McGinn adds a second then for Villa. It's a shot to flex off never. There's nothing you can do, really. And poor again from Wolves. Huang giving the ball away. Huang had a bad game today. But sure, you got to look at it. He played well against Newcastle, won a sack game. And today, well, Ruben Neves managed to win the game. Well, Matt Target managed to win the game. For us, it's a surprise he didn't bring himself off injured in the first half like he normally does against Wolves but what a great win for us we brought Pudence on and Fabio Silva on and they were both quite good I actually thought Silva had a couple of nice touches but Pudence was brilliant it's the best I've seen him play for Wolves since he signed and even that 10 minute cameo every ball he put into the box was really good and the cross for Sice's goal which I didn't even celebrate because I thought we've been so awful here and there's no chance of us even getting an equaliser and I thought Podence could have been offside he wasn't but Sice puts it in and then we didn't really attack again with the the chance it's all a bit of a blur to be honest Podence puts it in Kilman has to score his header hits the bar and then we eventually Traore lifts it back in and then Cody manages to scramble it over the line and make it 2-2 and run over to the Wolves fans who once again were brilliant today. You could hear them on the telly and took the Villa fans 48 minutes to get going on that end. <laughs> no surprise there though. And then to win the game, try a rate. What a run. What a run to get away from the Villa defence and get into a position of which Nevers can take the free kick. And I thought as Nevers was lining up the free kick, I thought, well, he's going to make this a last play. I'm more than happy with the point given how we've played. And then... I thought, well, he hasn't scored for a while. Wouldn't it be the time to get a goal for him? And, well, he did get it. Well, I don't think it'll go down as his goal, but it deflects in off Matt Target into the back of the net and Wolves win 3-2 at Villa Park for the best result under Bruno Lage so far. Eight points from uh, 12 points from eight games now. That's really good, given the fact that we lost our first three. We've won our last three games. We don't tend to do that at all. The last time we did that was in restart in 2020 when we did go to Villa and win as well. We've not lost there since they've come back up. It's two wins out of three there. It's pretty good for Wolves at the moment. And next week, away to Leeds, who lost today to Southampton again. They're in a bad run. Hopefully we can go there and pick up three points as well. But after we've absolutely scabbed a win today at Villa Park, let's not beat around the bush. I'm very happy with that. At the end of the day, all said and done. It was a poor performance, but we managed to get there with three scruffy goals. Villa 2, Wolves 3. So, Derby Day victories don't get much better than that. Wolves 3, Aston Villa 2, and uh, pff, game of the season so far. I mean, three goals in one game is already rare enough for us, but to do it in the manner that we did, uh, we were pretty much terrible for 80 minutes, but then to get the comeback, the three goals in the last 10 minutes of the game was just astounding, really, really astounding. Great character and great um, fight shown by the team. A real different aspect to this Bruno Lage side that we're yet to see. I remember, I think I said in a previous fan reaction, we haven't seen enough of Wolves fighting back from deficits, which was something that we struggled to do previously. But we've shown it today. We showed it big time today as well. In a derby as well. Well, whether you want to call it a derby or, or not is, is obviously your decision. But 
it's just <laughs> I'm, I'm sort of lost for words really the, the, the scenes at full time and the scenes at the Neves goal were just absolutely unbelievable it was so good to see Saïs and Cody on the score sheet I've given them both uh, as a fan base we've given them a fair share of sticks so for both of them to get a goal in this game such a big game as well was was fantastic really and you couldn't have hoped really for two better goal scorers uh, to help their reputation and you know just to get a bit of weight off their shoulders but the game itself not fantastic for the first sort of 80-ish minutes 3-5-2 was a bit of a surprise Jimenez not playing I think was probably expected I think he only got back from Mexico on Thursday or Friday so it would, it would have been a surprise to see him start disappointing uh, I thought first off we were quite poor actually negative setting back quite a lot Villa were getting attacking our wide areas a lot more than we have seen in previous games Marcel was struggling a little bit out there but I thought on the whole we were dealing with the threat quite well uh, Jose saw another really strong game from him huge huge save uh, from Danny Ings's chance as well which if that had gone in completely different game and again looking okay on the break but not really too much of an attacking plan we seem to struggle to get it through the midfield as quickly as we can do and I thought we struggled really to use make use of the wide areas I think 3-5-2 three, three, does limit us there um, I thought Semedo and Marcel were particularly poor today I thought Adama showed really good glimpses should have scored in the first half as well fantastic run straight at the keeper unfortunately again same sort of issues with him but I thought second half the, the, the issues kind of continued and I think that's where Bruno Lodge had to take some of the criticism really because we were still struggling and we were still struggling to create chances, get out of our own half. Defensively we didn't look convincing but no changes, no substitutes, no attacking changes at all. Ryan Ait Nori again not coming on which was a little bit of a disappointment but the goals were preventable and this is the, this is the issue right, I don't think this is a case of, of a lack of squad depth or you know a lack of talent um, I think that it, it is just poor decision making the first goal Danny Ings's goal was just really poor marking um, you know Cody and Kilman just watching ball watching really uh, and then the second one poor from Huang He Chan uh, to give the ball away and then to be fair it was a really good finish from McGinn but in terms of the negatives, that's probably it. You know, we, we played really poorly. We struggled to get anything going going forward. We had a lack of attacking plan, but we managed to get the three goals, and that's what matters. Fabio and Pedence coming on, and uh, it didn't again didn't really quite get into the game. I think Pedence was in particular was the stronger substitute. I thought he showed really good attacking glimpses again. He's had a really strong start to the season, but. Look, let's be honest, who cares about the negatives and who cares about the poor goals? All we care about is the three points today and the fact that we've managed to scalp and salvage that win somehow is fantastic because if you can win when you're not playing well, then that's a good sign. And the three games that we have won on a row now, we haven't been superb, we haven't played the flow, free-flowing and high-pressing football that we did at the start of the season, but we're getting three points now and we're seeing the momentum growing. We've had poor starts to the season before and we've ended up finishing seventh. I think we can easily do that again. A huge, huge three points, a fantastic Derby Day win and fully, full credit goes to the players as well for getting themselves back up and fighting till the last minute getting themselves the goals that's all that we're bothered about and I can't honestly I, I can't stop smiling I was absolutely buzzing uh, seeing us get a victory and in that manner as well it doesn't happen very often it happened a few times under Nuno those last minute winners but not under Bruno Lage so fantastic performance uh, in the last 10 minutes we should say uh, and a great three points what a game from Wolves today. I'm, I'm just really excited. We, I haven't felt like this since the, the uh, Brighton game where Morgan Gibbs White gave us a late winner. And it's just, it's all kind of still settling in. Like, it, for, I don't know what it was today, but for some, th some reason, you just felt when we went down after we got the first one, I felt like we were going to go on score a second. I felt second, I felt we were going to get the third. On the free kick, I was optimistic. Like, I, I felt like it was just bound to happen today, and it was, and it did. We'll come da back from 2-0 down and end up winning 3-2 in the 95th minute. Like, it's just, it's just a lot. But it's not all positive because, our, again, gave up two goals early. We kind of relied on some pretty garbage goals to get back in the game, which are still goals. But, you know, it's not great, and it's not like they're consistent, especially the free kick. Like, it's not going to happen every time we got a little bit lucky. But defensively, 
Ings is has a free header to score the first goal. Cody's nowhere near his guy. It's the story of our defending is just they, they don't tra our guys do not track their runners. They, they, they don't mark up, and he's a free header at the goal. McGinn scores. Um, I mean, that's not really on our defense. That's more just you know Juan gives the ball away in a very very stupidly. Like I don't know watching back who he's aiming for. It's just all Villa players right there, and he hits a one-time pass out to them, and you know McGinn gets a bit lucky on the strike, but. It's whatever. Um, other performances that were notably not great. I thought Marcel was pretty off today. Couldn't, didn't do a whole lot. Didn't impact the game very much. Would like to see Aiden away there. I think a lot of us would. Uh, but Lada seems to want to keep going with him. So that's what it is. And Traore. He's one of my favorite players. But I just it's hard to watch him every week. Doing what he's done today. Where he gets the ball. He'll dribble the whole team. And then he has, a, like in the first half, he has a ball. He takes it through almost the entire build team from our own half and hits a soft little shot on Martinez. Like, the, the, the killer instinct and just the finishing ability just isn't there with him. And it's frustrating because we, we know he can do better and we expect better, especially when you see Podence come on and change the game. Podence was my player of the match today. He, he was the reason we got our goals. He's, he's clever. Going forward, he just wanted to, he kept pressing. It was fantastic for him to see today. Uh, just he, he changed the game and when he's doing stuff like that and I, I'm calling for Trevor to start I want to see him play and he just doesn't have the same impact it's hard to get behind and defend him but you know he did answer for kick that won us the game so it's not like he didn't do anything he was very positive today it was a bit of a sloppy game all around but just like the passing wasn't great for me the team but you know not going to dwell on it too much I'm just happy we got the three points huge win and um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to next week where we can hopefully we can probably come up all the way to sixth if we win next week. We're up to eighth now, so as we keep pressing, we'll see.